bores you. Bores you. Try working for someone like you for a living. The talking, talking, talking. Jesus Christ, won't he ever shut up? Titanic self-absorption of the man. You stand there trying to be so deep that you are nothing but a solipsistic bully with your lectures and your arias. And let's just look at the fucking canvas for a few more weeks. Let's not paint. Let's just look. And the pretension. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the pretension of it all. I can't think of an artist in the history of painting ever tried so hard to be significant. Not everything has to be so goddamn important all the time. And not everyone wants art that actually hurts. Some people want a still life or a landscape or, or a fucking soup can, which you might actually learn if you left this goddamn hermetically sealed submarine you stay in with the windows closed and no natural light because natural light isn't good enough for you. And then again, nothing is good enough for you. Not even the people who own your art. Museums are just mausoleums. Galleries are run by pimps and swindlers and collectors are just shallow social climbers. So is anyone good enough to own your art? Or maybe the question is, is anyone good enough to see your art? That's it, isn't it? We've all been weighed in the balance and have been found wanting. You say you spend your entire life in search of real human beings who can look at your paintings with some kind of compassion. Well, my friend, I don't think you'd know a real human being if he were standing right in front of you.